Yeah, Alona, we just learned from the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office that driver is now charged with reckless driving as well as driving uh, without a license. And we now know his name. They say he is 29-year-old Celso Isaias Poo Adjukum. And boy, what a mess he made here. You can see the debris outside of this home where that truck came crashing through this morning. And if you look, you can actually see through the home into the backyard. Just goes to show the damage that truck made. Yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, luckily, no, nobody is at home. It's a miracle no one was here when this truck came crashing through the Sukas Daddy's Katie home. I was shaken when I first got here, but uh, the more I think about it, I see cute stuff right there, their toys. Uh, we're just thankful that, um, you know, we're safe and it is a miracle. <laughs> and, you know, we're really thankful. Their two young kids were at school today, but they say any other day they could have been right where that truck came through. The car hit through the back, which is uh, our living room, our playroom, and the computer room, where most of us usually is during the day. That's, that's a miracle. That's what we call a miracle. Deputies responded to a call of a truck hitting a tree. It was much more than that when they got here, though. They tell us the driver hit a curb on a street behind this home and went airborne before crashing through and hitting that tree. Luckily, uh, there was trunk, I mean, tree trunk was able to stop the vehicle. Had it not hit the tree, we have no idea how this would have ended. Deputies tell us that driver tried to take off before deputies were able to get him. He was taken to the hospital. The car was pried from the tree and taken away. The Saku's daddies now have a lot to clean up. Yeah, they really do. And right now you're looking at the backyard fence. We've also seen deputies going through the home. They're continuing, continuing their investigation. And, you know, we've been talking with neighbors out here as well as the homeowners who you just heard from. They have all been helping each other out in this incident. And as for that driver, well, he was taken to the hospital with, believe it or not, minor injuries. We're live in Katy this afternoon. I'm TJ Parker, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Unbelievable.